And then do we have any volunteers for, I know we all kind of take notes together, but any volunteers to take uh, notes? If he wants to run the agenda, I can take notes. You run the agenda, not take notes. Matt, any interest in <laughs> taking notes? All right, Matt. <laughs> you, I can't, I can't me. Sorry, I, I was muted. I, I can take notes. Okay. okay. Well, maybe between you and Matt. You know what I mean? No, I'm going to try to help anyway, too. Okay. Sounds uh, good. Can I add um, uh, a point to the agenda? about? Yeah. The I was taking the minutes and, and the minutes themselves because it seems that there is some, some misunderstanding. That seems like a reasonable thing to place on the agenda. No. I just copied the agenda from last week or last two, two weeks ago. So you may have other things that you want to put into the agenda. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. We can hear you. So if you, I'll post the minutes here again. Um, for those of you that joined recently, if you could kind of hop over to the minutes real fast and just make sure that I've got everybody. Okay, so I'm this one. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, um, we can start with discussing about the minutes themselves. Yep. My, my concern was about whether we had consensus or not, because I had understood that the idea was to use Google Docs for taking the notes, that producing a feedback was after the meeting, so that we have an archive with everything else in the working group, which is the debate group. Support. And uh, we had this issue where we were discussing this, and my, my idea was that we had this um, um, consensus, but I'm not sure. So I just want to ask, do you agree that we take the notes in Google Docs and at the end of the meeting for preservation, we uh, pull request the notes to the repository as we are doing after now? So, at the, do yep. Something? Yeah. Yep. so at the moment, the other working groups don't do that. They just use the mail list as the way to kind of archive. You know what I mean? Because all the yeah. minutes. That's well, I'm, uh, I'm happy if you prefer to do it that way. My, my problem with the, using the mailing list for that is that it's not that easy to find fast decisions, like okay. going to a file and just check for that. So yeah, no, I know, I uh, I know that there is, a, there is an, extra, an extra job in doing the pull request and all of that. But at the same time, it's also an opportunity that if anyone is not agreeing with the, minute, with the minutes for any reason, mm -hmm. what you can, you can say, I don't agree, I want this to be removed or whatever. No, I agree. I think that's a good idea. So what about um, both a pull request and a sent to the list? No, that's fine with me. So okay. I, I have no trouble with sending it to the list. But in fact, if, if you prefer to avoid the, the, the pull request, we can do that too. Uh, so I, I just want to do something that everybody agrees on. Because yeah. I think that's good. I, um, might I suggest that the person who's designated to take kind of be the lead note taker, so today Kevin had chimed in, is responsible for creating pull request um, and also for sending uh, minutes to the list. How about that? Okay. Do you all agree on this? I do, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Good. Cool. Done. Okay. Yeah, that's all that's done. Nothing else from the time we post. Okay. Okay. Can we move then to the our sending issues then, which is the next item? <laughs> 
Okay, I'm 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 going to go through uh, the issues. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this procedure, what we are doing now is going to the uh, WG GMD uh, repository, which is the repository for the working group, and go through the open issues. Just to very quickly see whether we can unblock some of them or we need the extra actions in some of them or whatever. So right now we have 13 open issues. And uh, the first one, which is number 138, is uh, asking for feedback on measuring efficiency. Just for you all to know, the reason now for this issue is uh, I, I was intending to work on efficiency, which is one of the goals for code development. And uh, before starting to deal with the metrics, I prefer to start a discussion to see whether people consider that the current questions and metrics that we are dealing with are sort of uh, personal, or we should be adding or removing some of the metrics. So this is just a, a comment for you to have a look at the issue. And if you want to say something, well, say something. Um, and that's it. Any comment on this uh, issue? Which issue is it? I'm sorry, Jesus, I was writing notes. One, one, three, eight, which is okay. the first one in the, in the current listing of open issues. Okay, yeah, this is the one you just posted yesterday yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. The idea is to try to involve more people in the discussions, yep. and that's why I also send the message to the mailing list. Yep, that's a good idea. Um, so your question is just kind of thoughts on this issue? No, yeah. it's, just to, it's just to raise the tension of the people on it. On it now. Oh, yeah. I mean, I appreciate that you're sending it to the list. And in fact, you got a comment within a, within 12 hours or something like that. Yeah. So if, if there are comments on the mailing list, very likely I'm going to copy them to the issue so that we can discuss everything. But I know some people is more comfortable with discussing in the mailing list or so whatever. Yep. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Sean? Okay. I don't need to discuss it. I have thoughts, but I don't need to discuss them here. I can discuss it on the list. Okay. In any case, if you want to say any of you want to say something right now, we can also take notes or, or maybe you can write through. John, you're leaving us hanging. No, I don't I don't need to discuss it now. I can say I said, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I thought I said that. <laughs> you did. I <laughs> just want to make sure that you're not <laughs> No no, I'm not like feeling like oh I have no, I'm fine. I Okay. Thanks for bringing okay. it up. Okay, thank you. Well, the next issue, which is 136, is an idea uh, for testing repositories based on reference implementation. So we are discussing the technical details, but if you look at it, it's quite an interesting idea from the point of view, which could be including testing for the reference implementation. So that every time we have new versions of the code or whatever, we try and see whether it works. And uh, it would be based on the notebooks and what we are discussing. And of course, you are, you are welcome to join the discussion is how exactly to do that and what exactly would be the goal of the testing. So I think that we don't need any specific action on it, except that you, if you have any comments or whatever. So testing repositories, what does that mean? <clears throat> The idea is that since we are going to have reference implementations and reference implementations are supposed to be working, I mean, producing actual numbers and so on, yep. the idea would be to test that they are actually working. So that every time there is a commit, you automatically run the tests on the reference implementations. And for instance, you can do many kinds of testing, but for instance, you can run the reference implementation on same uh, specific repositories for which we know the result the metrics to get. And then you can compare the result produced by the reference implementation with the result in the repository. So how would that how would that work technically? So if there's a when you're talking about a commit, are you talking about a commit such um, something like um, somebody's committing to the DMD repository <laughs> about a new metric? Well I think that the, the idea would be to do that if somebody is committing to the reference implementation itself. Because if you are only changing text, you cannot start there. Okay, right, agreed. I mean, there's nothing to run against. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And, so uh, and, and, and I don't kind of a thing. What's that? 
to do it like a Travis CI build on the yeah. code. Yeah, that's yeah. what it feels like to me, like a workflow thing, like a CI. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the, the, the idea would be, for instance, to uh, include the configuration for Travis CI in our repository <laughs> so that every time there is a commit to the notebook, some um, scripts are run, just checking for the integrity of the notebooks and the results that the notebooks produce and checking them against uh, some, some data that we know is true. So that we can check that the notebooks are actually working as intended. This sounds more like a question for the software itself, less so than the GMD. Work. I, you know, kind of my thinking, and I was just throwing this comment on the issue, is that this could be a way of prototyping or demonstrating for other working groups who've expressed an interest in seeing implementations, um, how, how a, a basic implementation of those metrics could be sort of continuously tested in a way that, you know, if something changes in how a Git repository is stored, it needs to be caught. Um, you know, I think, I think creating a pipeline where we're collecting data and storing data as part of the test is a little bit more brittle than having some kind of a framework where we're actually mm -hmm. taking a repository and analyzing it or making a call to the GitHub API in the case of issues. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not a, I, I don't oppose this idea. I just think to Matt's point, it is a bit of a software thing. And I'm trying to think about, well, how could we make this part of the metrics definition process in a way that would be robust? <laughs> so, uh, the, fact, the fact is that there are like, like two parts here. One is that the software tools right now are only going to the API of the data source and receiving the data. And that's very difficult to say and has its own tests in the software side already. Mm -hmm. But once you get the data, so imagine, for instance, that you get all the pull requests for a, a given a GitHub repository. Then on that, we are running some metrics, like how many of them are still open. And if we have a reference repository where we know the number of open, repository, open uh, requests, according to same definition that we have agreed for the metric, should be 135. We can just check them. We can check whether the current version of the notebook <coughs> or the current number of uh, pull records open <coughs> that number. And the rationale oh, is that many people is going to start working on that now with, with Google Summer of Code and all of that. And we are going to have newer versions of the repositories. And the idea is to uh, avoid regression so that maybe when implementing some metrics, some other metrics start to fail. And uh, yeah, I think Herschel has a comment. Uh, yeah, regarding the pipeline, uh, <coughs> I think uh, that it would be uh, it would be more like a package where uh, we could give from the command line the input as the uh, list of matrix names and the repository uh, which needs to be uh, for which the matrix need to be calculated, and it would uh, give us the result in, uh, in the form of a CSV or any other file format that we want. Uh, for that, we can have a main module which would uh, import all the matrix and uh, call all call the matrix as required. Uh, the this would be a separate thing, and the implementation of matrix in the notebook would be a separate thing. So we can have uh, like uh, two things. Uh, this would uh, just make it easy to uh, analyze repositories uh, along with the uh, along with uh, many matrix. Like it would make the whole thing modular, which would uh, make it make its usage more easier. Mm -hmm. Sean, do you have thoughts? I mean, my, I like, I like, I like the idea conceptually. I worry about um, the working groups that are defining metrics, creating coupling between themselves and these reference repositories, um, and some particular ways that one piece of software might pull the data. So, the tools that, like some, like I, uh, I think the suggestion in, in here is like we might use. Percival to generate an output file for the for the metrics mm -hmm. chosen, but um, what if a, a working group decides to use some other tools? For example, in the risk working group, Percival is really not applicable at all. In in and I think outside of and I, I think I mean there's not a universal. And I have like a I have a, like a software 
code smell, about creating coupling between the working group and a particular um, way of getting the data, just because I know that there are multiple ways that uh, this data is gotten. On the other hand, I mean, the idea of having this is not, I mean, it, it's also an advancement in the work that we're doing, right? So uh, I'm trying to balance this in my head and I haven't thought about it a lot before like two minutes ago. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think about how to balance the, the risk of coupling the software with the definition of the metrics too tightly. Um, but, Can I ask uh, a question? Can I ask a question? So is the, the idea, is, is part of the idea, and maybe not the entirety of the idea, but is part of the idea to have reference repositories? They're essentially test repositories? Yeah. Okay. That and would, so that would also make the uh, testing of the matrix easier. Uh, if we uh, combine the entire project into a modular structure by making a pipeline. So would, would these test repositories basically be frozen over time? They would never no. change. No, they'd have so, to change. No, uh, I mean, I think it's, it's a bit early to know how to do that because the, the, the issue right now is discussing about what we do, do we want to do with this? So I think that the specific idea of how to do that with frozen repositories or not is maybe a bit preliminary right now to discuss. Okay. We are still discussing what do we want the testing for? And uh, in that respect, the human slices are very relevant because uh, right now the idea that we have is to try to have reference implementations for as much metrics as possible. Mm -hmm. If reference implementations are writing, they're writing in software, and so we can fail and have regression, all of that. So I would say that the primary objective of this is to ensure as much as possible that the reference implementations are working as intended. And, uh, and then we can discuss uh, stuff like saying commented to try to decouple as much as possible from specific tools and all of that. And I completely agree with that. But in the end, we have software which is implementing some metrics and that can fail and can have regressions. And the idea is if we are counting commits in, such, in some way, we should be counting forever the same way until we decide to change the, the, the metric definition. Can I, can I make a suggestion then? Of course. So um, it seems like the idea in principle is fairly well received. Honestly, taking a look at the issue and just kind of listening to the conversations here, one of the, the comments that um, Sean had put on the issue was perhaps a pilot or some sort of demonstration. That's, I think that's what you were saying, Sean. Yeah. To what this might look like right might be helpful so maybe i suggest a couple of things one is for the the software folks who are on here or those who have an interest in software to kind of think about what this would mean <laughs> in reality from idea to reality would be number one and then number two perhaps trying to pilot thinking about piloting that reality one of the I don't think we'll solve this problem here. So maybe uh, I have a go. Somebody has a test. Did somebody say that? Yeah, I have a doubt. Uh, how do we actually evaluate if we have that test? Well, I think this is kind of the question. So I, I think some of these these answers, if if the folks who are contributing to the software in chaos and think through this and if a pilot can move forward, I think some of these questions might reveal themselves in this process. That would be my guess. So I would say that let's go on discussing on this issue. Let's connect all of it so that we can help everything together. And after seeing all the different points and ideas, we can decide whether even the full idea makes sense or not. I wanted to uh, ask something actually, like I just want to, I just uh, have it out like uh, once the uh, matrix are implemented, then uh, how are we planning to uh, use them with the repositories? Uh, suppose once we have, we are having the refer uh, reference implementations, but for the purpose of actually using the matrix, we would have to uh, do something uh, like uh, integrating them into some structure or uh, 
to uh, to actually use the use them for analyzing repositories. But uh, but I don't understand. What do you mean? Do you mean which kind of tool? To... Uh, pardon. Uh, actually, I so can't. Can comment. you can you repeat what you said, please? Uh, actually, uh, what I am asking is that once uh, there are reference implementations for all the metrics, then uh, how like they would be uh, they would be separate uh, there would be separate implementations for all the metrics. So how are how would how are we planning to use the metrics to analyze the repositories? Like uh, like would they be used directly for analyzing the repositories as we have done in the micro tasks? No, but there, there, those are different issues. One thing is. Whether we have a specific reference implementation for a given metric, and another one is whether there is a tool that does the the the, the step. So, for instance, in in, in Chaos, yeah. we have both Ogle and Grimoire Lab, which are tools that can actually be used for retrieving data, visualizing it, and all of that. But so, uh, this uh, is mostly the, the reference implementation is asked about saying we are counting commits in such a way, and that's what the metric definition says. And then the reference implementation is just a way of doing that carefully so that you can compare with any tool and say, well, the result by this and this metric is exactly the same as the reference implementation. And also a way that people can learn how exactly we are doing that, because we know that when you describe things in code, that's not ambiguous. Maybe when we're doing that in English, maybe that, that's something that can be understood in different ways. But when you write the code, the code is not ambiguous and you can see, okay, exactly this is the way this metric is defined. So the notebooks for the metrics uh, reference implementation are not intended for doing the way that people analyze repositories. So for that, uh, we have different tools. Yeah, but I just have one suggestion like that once the notebooks are implemented, then it would be uh, like, I understand that these are two separate things. So. Once the notebooks are implemented, uh, the task with Im uh, reference implementations of matrix is over. Then uh, this could then the notebooks can easily be converted to Python scripts to uh, just uh, make the software. So this is the second thing which I am talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like there is a write file run command which would easily convert all the notebooks to co uh, corresponding Python scripts, and that could easily be uh, used to. Uh, make the uh, package or whatever we can call it uh, an integrated pipeline of all the matrix. So uh, that, that would be a, that would be an additional thing that would be added to this project. If uh, it is, if it, yeah, but, if, it, but, if, it, if you find it useful. No, I agree. But I think that's beyond the, the idea of this issue that is open now, which is mainly the development testing. And in the context of the Google Summer of Code project, we can talk about that. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think maybe in the interest of time, we should find. Probably... No, we've been on us for fifteen minutes almost. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say let's let's go on with the discussion in the issue, and yep. maybe when when the thing is more mature, we can come back and discuss for the final decision. Do you agree? Yep. yep. And Sean posted another comment as well. So. Okay. Yeah. Great. Instead of burdening us with more of my thoughts. Okay. Um, Thank you. So let's. Go ahead, Kevin. No, it's Robert. Hi, can oh, you hear sorry. me? Yeah. Uh, sorry to, uh, I kind of joined in late. Uh, uh, I, I just want to ask uh, that one question about how you're going to be naming the group. Uh, did you guys discuss that already and you make, came out to a decision? Sure, that's on the agenda. So we can, you're talking about renaming the group? Uh, right. Yeah. Um, I will defer to. There's there's an issue for that we'll get to here in just a moment. Okay. Okay. Should we go on with the issues on? Yeah. Since we are a bit late in the meeting, I'm going to try to go only through the issues where it it could make sense to to have discussion now, right? Okay. So the the first one, the the next one, one hundred and three four, and thirty four is abandoned issues. We are basically discussing what does it mean abandoned issues. I just say that join the discussion if you want. I think there is nothing specific to discuss now. Uh, deciding a new name for this working group, we can either comment that now or defer to the issue to, to the item that we have in the agenda. 
Matt, uh, Sam, what do you think? Say that again, Jesus. Yeah, that's what uh, we should decide now on the name of the working group, which is issue, next issue, number 124. Or it is better to defer that to the end of the meeting. Is it issue one? Oh, issue 124. Yeah. I see. Well, it's an issue, so we can talk about it now. Okay. <laughs> it falls okay. in. The issue was there to collect feedback from people, and I would say that for the people who wrote there, evolution seems to be the, the, the choice. Mm -hmm. But we don't have a lot of feedback, so if you think something else. I have anecdotal feedback just kind of across the weekly meetings and talking with people. Evolution is the one that people seem to gravitate towards more than anything else. I don't know what you're hearing, Sean. I'm hearing people in the background. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I think uh, evolution. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I think evolution is. Uh, yeah. It's a it's a good name and it really reflects uh, what uh, what you guys are trying to achieve. So uh, can we say that we have an agreement that uh, the, the group could be renamed to evolution? Yep. I agree. Don. Evolution. I agree. Just for me. Okay. I do. I've heard consensus around that as on other calls as well. So. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. In um, that case, uh, um, the, the name of the repository will be WG Evolution, right? Yeah, I guess it's a long word, but yeah. Or well, maybe Ebol. No, no, no. I think I think we should use the whole word because Ebol. What, what's that? Yeah, evolution. Yeah, that's right. Evolution. We have diversity. We have diversity okay. and evolution is wrong. Yeah. My only concern. It's, yeah. it's shorter than growth, maturity, and decline. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. WG evolution. Then. So, okay. Kevin, can you can we just kind of walk through the website to make those changes as well? Yep, I'll do that yeah. uh, later today. Okay. And the name and the name of the repository itself. Is it easy to change the name of a repository? Yeah, yep. it is. It is. Okay. The, only, the only trouble is that we need to change references in other places too, like the website. And stuff. We'll, we'll do that here. You know. Okay. Okay, great. So we have one decision. Good. Okay. The next, uh, the next issue in my list is uh, um, reviews instead of proposals. So that's issue 110. And uh, just to, to motivate this, remember that we have proposals in code proposals for all the methods related to code review. But at some point, we were saying that proposal is a very weird name that nobody really is using as that for us. And, uh, and, and so we decided to discuss other options. And some of us thought that reviews were um, a good name. But there is some discussion. So we can either discuss now or follow the discussion in the issue, whatever you may want. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, I'm the one with the comment about review. I think it's, it's mm -hmm. because reviews are usually a shorthand for code reviews. Um, so I, I mean, I don't like the change, but I'm not, because I think it creates confusion, but I'm not, I'm also not strongly opposed to it if others have consensus. Yeah, this works. Okay. There are other opinions or, or, or maybe some other name, suggestion for a name? Or... Um, my, in my opinion here, um, hey, if you're, not, if you're not talking, can you mute? Just because there's a lot of feedback that I'm getting. I don't know about other people. Yeah, I'm hearing background noise. Um, so if you're not talking, please mute. Um, so I would kind of defer this conversation or the kind of the, I would kind of defer this to the folks that, that work more in this space than I do on a day-to-day -day basis, kind of points that Sean was making with respect to how he kind of as a developer, uh, sees reviews. I, I do think that at some point we do just have to move forward with <laughs> some of the words, <laughs> And put closure. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And we can always change it later if it ends up. Creating confusion. 
question, but yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> right, and, and, if, and if this stuff starts living in the wild and reviews becomes a point of confusion, we can yeah. make that change later down the road. So that's kind of my thought. Okay, that, that's fine, I agree with that. But however, just in case somebody thinks a bit about this and comes with a, with a better name, we can leave the issue open for a couple of days. Sure. And if nobody comments, I can close it and start a full request with the... I think that's a good idea. We, are, we already have a full record with that, but I can wait for a couple of days until somebody says something. And if nobody says something, we just close it and, and send to the reviews, okay? That works for me, thanks. Okay. Okay. Hey, so, I'm gonna have to, I have to drop off, so. Sorry? I have to leave. Oh, I have okay. to get, okay. get over to a class, so okay. see you later. Man. See you later, bye. Okay, I think that we're almost done with the issues anyway, because the next one is maintain a, direct, uh, a dictionary of metrics for historical reasons. And it's open there just in case somebody can start the work. So I just encourage anyone who wants to do that to start a pull request. And the idea here is to try to track the old names that we have for metrics when we are changing to new names so that people can find uh, the, the current name for a metric that maybe they were using like one year ago or something. So this was the, uh, a result of the past meeting. And if somebody can take that, that would be great. I, mean, I think I think we could, what I'd suggest maybe as a modification is that we begin this now so that anything we change from now forward will create this map for and we let all the things that we have changed in the last couple of years just be the be what they are now and so it's like changes from this moment in time not a mm -hmm. okay not that's, a, a, that's a good idea and if you want what they can do is to start if we finally change from proposal to reviews start with that one because in that one, we are going, we're going to have to map several uh, metrics. So I think that's a good idea. And if somebody can do that for the past, that's fine. But at least from now on, we are going to do that as, as a procedure. Okay. Any other comments uh -huh. for this one? Uh, mm -hmm. What needs to be done? Uh, and do we need to uh, include all the metrics in, in the structure of a dictionary file? Uh, I think there is no specific structure that could be just a table with all okay. metrics, new metrics, something like that. And uh, if, if you agree, what I can do is, since I have this full request for moving from uh, proposals to reviews, I can add a new file with historical table for this one. And if you like the idea, then we can follow with that format. But that could be like a table, old name, new name, date of change, something like that. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Then the, the next uh, ones, I think that all of them are uh, waiting for some action. And uh, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to go one by one. I think that some of them are pending action by Sin, some of them are pending action by me, some of them are pending action by somebody else. And, uh, but I think there is nothing that we need to discuss right now, except that some of you feel that it's better to discuss right now. So, anyone wants to discuss any of this? I've got a question about um, mm -hmm. the community manager use case. I was looking at that earlier. Um, it's it was there was a pull request created in January in January, and then um, there's been a lot of talk about it. Um, does anybody have any comments on that? Uh, we are still not with full requests, but this, but again, okay, gotcha, gotcha. No, 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 but 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 I agree with you because what we are having is in the specific case of use cases, we are quite interested in having the feedback from the people that propose them. And for some of them, we didn't have the feedback yet, so I don't know if mm -hmm. this is one of those cases. But the, the main problem with that is that either we close and we don't have the, the, the use case, or we remain open and, uh, and we have the use case at some point. So uh, I know it's a difficult discussion and maybe if it is like three months, we, can move in, we should do the more. So what do you think? Uh, it definitely hasn't been three months yet. It was since March that it hasn't been uh, moved around on the pull request, but. Um, 
think there's some more discussion to be had with the two by the looks of it. Okay. So in any case, we can move very quickly to pull requests now because I think that most of them were already discussed. Um, so uh, the, the, the first one, which is 132, is just updating the with me. So uh, it has a long, long story, but uh, the summary is, I think that we can merge it because it's better than the version of the readme, and we can use it as the as the first iteration for the next change to the readme. So if uh, we all agree, I will be accepting it in a in a little while. And uh, the only thing is keep an eye on it on the readme so that uh, so because probably we can still improve it a bit. Okay. Then. The next one, 126, is a patch by Sin. And yeah. Sin, I, I commented that I think that there are two things mixed in it because there are still some changes. Maybe you were, you were merging an old branch or something because there are, uh -huh. it, it's storing some diff from files that I think are not intended to do with this one. Yeah, there's, um, there's a, there probably should be a second pull request, which is just a historical archiving of old metrics definitions. Okay. So, yeah. I just need to take my repository and, and tease that out. But if once I do that, is it okay to merge? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will. The, the, the main thing would be to, 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 to separate both things. Yeah. I think that's it. All right. I will make sure that I do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Then there is another one, which is changing proposals to reviews, which we already commented. So nothing, nothing new. And then there is two use cases which are these two that we can either close at some point or wait for wait for more uh, 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 feedback. In the case of uh, 76, uh, same, I think this is what you intended to update in the past. 76. Yeah, 76 is the community manager oh. use case. And I think this is what you intended to update with 126. Uh, did it, it still didn't come, I see 126 was still a piece of junk. Yeah. Well, still had stuff mixed in there. No, the, the, the only thing is that if, if you have a look at both of them, we have final comments and I think that you agree to address. So have a look at them and, uh, and then we can move on from that. But I don't know if it is going to be easier to start with a fresh full request because things moved a lot in the repository. But Yes, take a look. I, I don't know what is better. Uh, okay, so I did an update. There's an update to the README in here, but now you've updated the README. Okay. Yeah. So, but the other, the old metrics are out of 126, actually. Mm -hmm. The metrics okay. files aren't in there. So, um, for 126. So, do whatever you may want. I, if so you prefer, it's not. Actually, for 126, what would I take out of it? Okay. Because it, it, it includes, it doesn't include the old metrics anymore. Uh, it only includes, I guess it includes some updates to the README. Okay. Um, okay, I go through it and I have to look at it if you want. Yeah, the, okay, yeah, because I think I think 126 is actually, should be okay to merge because I took out all of the other things. It's just the community manager use case with the changes that you asked for under the other one. And then there's changes to the README, which really are only, uh, conform and maybe you did this in the other pull request that's up there for the readme. It's just putting our uh, meeting information at the top, which conforms to the structure that the other working groups use. But we have another. Well, and then there's some typo corrections. Mm. So yeah, there's a small change to the readme and then just the community manager use case. Okay, I, I think I, I think it, it can be. Uh, let me let me check this one second uh, because I don't know if it is mergeable right now. So uh, right now in my um, my Philip said this cannot be rebased and merged. Let me check if it can be committed. Yeah, it can it's be the be pull request. Uh, it can be merged. I mean, it can it can be merged. So what I'm going to do, if you all agree, is I can merge it right now. And uh, since we have a pending pull request on the readme, 
maybe we can go through, uh, I mean, uh, fix any uh, inconsistency in that other pull request. So yeah, that we can work with now, and that's yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, there shouldn't be any inconsistencies because it's really just inserting something at the top. Okay, okay. Then I'm merging it right now. And, right. Uh, okay. And uh, with respect to pull request number 132, uh, maybe you can have a look, anyone can have a look to it because right now it's going to conflict due to this. Okay, so it could be a matter of rebasing it or something. And then I can I can merge it too. No, no, I see it can be merged. So okay. I say it, yes. I think it yeah. would be okay because okay, okay. Then then I'm merging this one too. Yeah. Let, let me check the diff just in case. Because it's a bit longish. So, yeah. Yeah, I think it's in good shape. Okay. Okay, I'm merging it and uh, let's go through it afterwards in case we need to make something better so to improve it somehow. Okay. So do you all agree with merging it too? I do. Okay. Any other opinion? I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay, done. Great, then we only have two pending uh, pull request. One is mine, and I will be working on it in the next uh, few days, I hope. And the other one is this all use case that we need to the, the feedback by Calculate. I'm going to try to ping him again, and if, if he doesn't, if that doesn't work, maybe we can close it for a while or something. Okay, good. And uh, I think we are done with the issues and pull requests. Any other comment about any anything of this? Or okay, then uh, in the minutes we also had the change of the name of the working group, but we are also done with that. Mm -hmm. And Evolution. then, sorry, evolution, right? And then the the other item was discussing of the Chaos Working Group structure. Uh, I don't have context about this. I don't know if some of you have. I think that is the, I don't, the only thing we've really been discussing with regards to the working group structure are the repository structures and how we work with this repository compared to the metrics repository. And there are different working groups. I think many of us have been in those conversations that use Mm -hmm. Slightly different strategies. In, in our case, I think, like in the case of, like, I think, common, what, what the intention seems to be is that they're going to do most of the actual metrics changing work on forks of the metrics repository, but administer their working group inside of their working group repository. So it's a it's a slightly different strategy than we're using. I don't know that it. And if somebody remembers something else, I don't know that it calls for us calls for us to change anything. I think it was probably put in there more as a point of discussion, just so we're aware of how other working groups are working, and we can just take that into consideration as we go forward. But if somebody else remembers why that's in there differently, go ahead. Hmm. Uh, I don't have a clear opinion on that. I think that I'm, I'm happy with the starting working in any way. And then yeah. after the experience. We might want to, yeah, we might just want to just carry this item forward because I think maybe Matt put that in there and he may have had other ideas about what he wanted that to be mm -hmm. discussion wise. Uh, actually, in the pull request with regard to the uh, README in the table of contents, uh, wherever I commented out the uh, topic, so it is. Uh, reflected in the actual readme also there are spaces between uh, the name of the topics in the table of contents in the readme so okay. can you just please uh, can you just please see i see what you're uh, talking about a slight yeah. formatting yeah. yeah 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 so i would have to remove those markdown comments okay then let's just start a pull request and let's clean up the readme again once again 
Yeah, I would I would just remove the um uh, three to four markdown comments that are in the table of uh, content. Uh, okay. I actually did just that to uh, maintain the structure, but it is reflecting in the readme also uh, by uh, showing some gaps with respect to those comments. So okay. actually, I'm sorry about that. So I would uh, remove. Oh, those. No problem. In any case, please do that. And after that one, I'm going to go through all the readme, just looking for inconsistencies if there are any. Uh, yeah. And that, okay. Okay, I think that we are done then with the agenda for today. Any other issue that you, you may want to discuss or something? I have nothing else. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at the calendar and the next meeting would be on the 24th. Is yes. that right? That is right. Okay. And I think, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, just, uh, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Uh, just wait, because I think Valerio has uh, something to say before. Okay. Okay. Valerio is coming because we are in the same room, actually. So, <laughs> okay. You know, Valerio always have problems with... Sorry. Uh, okay. My microphone wasn't working. Yeah. So, uh, I have a question about uh, the Google Summer of Code uh, program. Um, so, um, basically, we, we took a quick look to, to the proposals, and so we were thinking uh, how to proceed to uh, make an assessment over this proposal, if we should like uh, assess them all together or uh, by idea. Uh, so in this case, um, I mean, in the first case, uh, the point is maybe uh, if we select the students, uh, but there are more students for the same idea, I don't know if it's possible to ask a, a student, an applicant, to to choose uh, another project. I don't know if. So, um, since since we have people who have been applying in the conference, I would say that it's better that we have a separate meeting for discussion in Google Summer of Code, and maybe we can do that next week or something. So okay. that um, just just to avoid mixing things, you know. Okay. Perfect. So, Singh, what do you think? Yeah, I, I think that should definitely be a, a, a call between the people. But basically, I think Augur and Grimoire Lab each have applicants for um, G Google Summer of Code. Yeah, so, maybe, maybe we can schedule a meeting for the next week for all mentors so that we can we make decisions from this or something like that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sin, are you available next week too? Yeah, yeah, I think, um, if you, you know, we can just use this time next week if you want to. <laughs> okay, then let's discuss the date by email, and then, uh, and then we can have that at the conference next week. Okay. Okay, fine. Anything else? Okay, thank you very much then. See you okay. in ten days. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>